Cybersecurity is essential to our survival as IoT devices continue to permeate every aspect of our daily lives. These are the very devices that actually are subject to exploitation. And so adversaries or bad actors take advantage of vulnerabilities. The primary mission of the center is to create the next generation of cybersecurity professionals. We conduct a wide variety of research using what we call reverse engineering techniques. And what the reverse engineering is, is working backwards. And we use those techniques to expose the vulnerabilities in hardware devices so that we can develop techniques to protect them. Society is becoming more wireless in the sense that you know, everything is being connected to a wireless communication link. So software-defined radio is a key technology that allows us to peek into the wireless link and understand what communication is happening between the IoT devices. So in reverse engineering in particular, um, we're interested in doing wireless um, penetration testing. So we want to look at new attack vectors within the wireless world. Right now, we're working on ZigBee protocol on two kit. Um, this toolkit is going to allow us to penetration test any ZigBee devices within um, the home industrial setting. Um, we're working on trying to find vulnerabilities within the protocol or vulnerabilities within the implementation of the protocol for particular devices. At the very heart of every IoT device is an embedded system that primarily is the brains of the device and usually the point of exploitation by an adversary. And so we try to protect and secure this device from various types of, of hacks. Machine learning is a field of study that tries to do what we human beings take for granted, which is to teach computers how to learn through observation and experience. My goal with machine learning and, and cybersecurity is to create these models that effectively characterize how systems communicate. Um, so you can think of Internet of Things devices. I want to know how they communicate, um, how often, what they communicate, so I can build a pattern of what is normal behavior. Because once I know what normal behavior is, I can detect abnormal behavior. So my goal is really to build these models to help detect anomalies and then help give researchers an ability to mitigate um, attacks that are occurring on these networks. The CAP Center is a university-wide initiative that addresses two primary cybersecurity areas. The first area is in assurance, where we do a deep dive in hardware and software assurance. And the second area is in security and privacy policy. The significance of having uh, the center CREAM and CAP here at Morgan State University is great in terms of the impact that it has on an HBCU campus. Um, we're able to address um, high-level research issues and problems in the cybersecurity area. Um, as well, it creates this wonderful um, hub of innovation on our campus to tackle some of the hardest issues as it relates to securing the vulnerabilities that we're experiencing with a lot of the systems um, that are being incorporated today. To attract more students to want to go to the university and so forth, we need to have programs and research programs where they realize they are learning stuff but they are also solving problems that's relevant to their, their daily lives and the lives of their communities. I'm researching blockchain and physically unclonable functions technology for testing IoT devices. We've been working on a new approved internet standard that is designed for security and we're testing it for feasibility. CREAM is like my second family, and as a first-year doctoral student coming directly from undergrad, there was no other option for where I'd like to extend my education at. The resources, the love, the support were all there. Our students are the best of the best. We recruit them from a, as undergraduates where they gain tremendous experience and exposure. We put these students in the best possible position for success.